Hey there golfers, I'm Drew Maholder, Second Swing Golf, joined today by Thomas Campbell, a master club for our second swing. Outside in the beautiful day, a little bit of a breeze out here, but it's a beautiful day to hit some golf shots. We've got the new TaylorMade P770 irons. Uh, Thomas is gonna hit shots with a four iron, seven iron and pitching wedge, give us the feedback. Uh, these are gonna, they're kind of making a big dent in the market right now with uh, these new P700 irons from TaylorMade. Uh, the P770 here in particular should be a great one. Uh, it kind of has not quite found a category yet. It's a different from the players, player's distance. Uh, I'm intrigued by what we're going to find out today. Yeah, I feel like these are about as close as a replacement as the for the 760s. They just discontinued their, their line in yeah. the last kind of couple weeks here. Um, 790s are retaining their line, so it's a little bit sleeker, more compact version of the 790s, but looks very, very similar. Um, it's a little bit weaker lofted than the 790s, so very similar loft to the 760s. So they're kind of right in, in between there. Um, I think they're going to be a great in uh, for the rest of the year here yeah. going forward. I'm really excited to test these and see how they perform. Yeah, it's you know you mentioned the P790. We'll compare those two as well uh, at some point here. But today, just the P770s. You know, they're it's it's different. The hollow construction, but it's a way smaller, compact shape. That's more of a player's iron. So I'm interested to see especially like the spin numbers, the workability that you get out of them, and then the consistency as well. Thomas, I'm looking forward to watching you hit these shots. Yeah, so we're gonna test the four iron, seven iron, and pitching wedge. We've got the KBS Tour 120S shaft. Mm -hmm. That's the stock shaft that comes with, with, with these, so that's why we have these first up. Now we'll get a chance to test later on, maybe a little different shaft that I would come kind of play, but this isn't far off. Yeah, yep. and then we'll look at the loss here. The pitching wedge is at a 46 degrees, yep. seven irons 33, four iron is 22 and a half, so somewhat traditional in terms of a player's iron nowadays that's kind of what you'd expect in that category so uh, yeah this is this is going to be interesting these are going to be some great players in the, the rest of the year well i'm excited let's uh, test these and how they perform okay so thomas the p770 from what we understand is basically it's a player's iron sort of built though a little bit more like a player's distance iron right yeah it looks very similar to p790 for sure but i'm looking down at it i can definitely notice there's a little bit more loft on than a traditional p790 would have yeah absolutely yeah. so why don't we start here we'll hit some with you know seven iron pitching wedge four iron we'll just kind of get your feedback here okay take a look at numbers get some feedback yeah. and see how it's performing mm -hmm. all right How does that feel, first strike? I mean, I hit that one really solid. I don't know what, that, what distance that one just went, but I felt like I hit that pretty good into that wind, and the spin rate didn't like balloon on me or anything mm -mm. like that, considering it was going into the wind. Yeah, so that, I mean, that carry was 184.4. Okay. So, yep. I know you're, based on what I know about your seven iron, um, usual performance, so to speak. Your carry's about 175 to 180, somewhere in there. So yep. that's a little bit farther than uh, you're maybe used to, but that's kind of, it seems like that's some of the build of that club too. So. Yeah, the loft on this club is one degree stronger than what okay. my loft on my iron is. So 33 degrees of loft on the P777 iron. Okay. What club I play is 34 degrees of loft. Sure, so, so maybe expect a little bit of a bump there. Three or four yards. Yeah. That's kind of what I got. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That went a long way. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that one carried 182. 182, okay. So then we can look at the dispersion here quickly, and you have the one miss hit, I guess, a little bit low on the face that dropped yep. about 10-ish carry, uh, or 10-ish yards of carry. Yep, it was about two grooves too low on the face. Yeah, yep. yeah, I mean, outside of that, you know, your dispersion's really tight, uh, just kind of barely right of the center line uh, for the most part there, but uh, looking at, you know, the, the data here at the table, club speed 91.3 on average, 128 ball speed, carry 180.3, and total 187.4. Okay. So even with the miss, hit a little bit more distance than you're used to, again, attributed to that loft a little bit stronger. Yep. Um, also that kind of that, it is a hollow body design too, so that maybe contributes a little bit to, to a uh, a little bit farther distance. Yeah, I know there's going to be a lot of comparisons with the 770 to the 790 because it looks kind of similar to yeah. the 790. I would almost consider this more of a replacement for the for the 760 
based on the spin numbers that I'm seeing here. Okay. With the 790 distance, it goes because it doesn't spin quite as much as other models do. The spin rate on this was, I think it was the mid sixes. Yep, you got 6840 was, was your average. 6840 had that one that it got a little thin that yeah. did spin a little bit more, but otherwise, the spin was really good. So it was spinning good, but it was also going pretty far too for the yeah. amount of spin that it was generating. So it was, it was performing really well. Yeah, well, let's see how the pitching wedge does for you. Okay, sounds good. What would you say is your typical spin rate with a pitching wedge? About kind of nine to 10,000 okay. on, on a full swing with yeah. a pitching wedge. Now, I don't usually like to hit a real, real full swing with a pitching wedge because I don't want the ball to spin up yeah. in the air like crazy. This is a challenge for me right now because we definitely got that wind coming right, yeah. into me. So. Yeah, because um, you're at, I mean, you're sitting at 92.53 for the average so far, so. Pretty, pretty similar. So. A mm -hmm. um, little less than a club times by a thousand, usually where my spin is. So okay. my seven irons usually around about six to seven thousand. Okay. Um, my nine irons, my, my sorry, my pitching wedges are around about nine to ten thousand. So, gotcha. Yeah. Ninety four seventy with the spin there. Okay. And that still feels, feels like good. I mean, there's not a huge difference in terms of the feel from the seven to the pitching wedge. Not really. No, it's still, it's not like a, a full, full on blade forge feel yeah. for sure, but it's, uh, it's not clicky either. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like right in between. It's, it's definitely an in between a club. It's a, I think this is going to be a really popular club yeah. going forward because it's kind of. It, it seems like it can yeah. fit a lot of players. Anybody that's looking for that player's distance model maybe doesn't want a clunkier look to it is yeah. going to like this. Plus, I think it is more of a player's iron just by the loft, the build, the compact head shape than something that is a player resistance category. So I do think it's gonna fit or at least appeal to a lot of players. Well, I think about like the P790, for example, that one can fit players up to scratch players, depending yeah. on kind of their ball striking capability, all up to 20, 30 handicap players. Yeah. Kind of just depends on what you're trying to get out of your club. So there's a wide range of players that it can yeah. fit. You know, this club is just a little sleeker than the yeah. 790, so it's not gonna be quite as forgiving. Um, the lofts are not quite as strong, so they're not going to go quite as far. Um, but they're a good-looking club. It's just essentially it looks like a it's just a com more compact version of the P790. Is what mm -hmm. it looks like. Yeah. All right, so that was five shots with the pitching wedge here, the P770. Dispersion again is is pretty darn good, Thomas. Um, we'll look at the numbers here and kind of. Get your thoughts on how it compares to what you would expect out of the pitching wedge. It's club speed at 87.2, uh, ball speed 107.9, spin 94.15, which you said in between 9 and 10,000, yep. so that's pretty darn good. Carry of 139.8, total 141.4. Stopping power, the, the spin, mm -hmm. it's going the right distance that I want it to go, 46 degrees aloft. My pitching wedge is for 47 degrees aloft on it. And I said 135 to 140, so it's going that yeah. three or four yards further. It's it's kind of spot on with regards to loft. There's really no science behind that when it comes down to your scoring club, so I'd expect to do oh, kind yeah. of what it's doing. Yeah. Right, and then yeah. just to, for reference on the, the height here, so your height at the with the P770 was 92.7, pitching wedge, or the, the seven iron was, P, yep. was 92.7, the pitching wedge was 90.9, so I mean it's very similar, and like very we've similar. said over and over in some of these videos, is that your clubs should go roughly the same height, you know, from driver down to, to wedge, so yep. and that's the case here, so that's a good start. Now I'm interested in the four iron because I think there will be a lot of combo sets with this new P700 series, these models coming out from TaylorMade, um, you know, with the, the MC and the MB as well as the P770, there's going to be some combo sets that will have, for example, three and four iron with the P770 and then maybe move into that that P7 MC down the set, which, so I'm curious to see how that plays in the longer iron. It definitely intrigues me, especially for uh, tailor-made staffers, for example, yeah. PJ Tour players. I think you're going to see oh, a yeah. lot of those three, four, five irons even with the P770s in, in players' bags. Yeah, absolutely. Let's see how it performs. Okay. So 
only they knew there was a green back there. That was smoked, according to the thing. I mean, you got, I don't well, know if that's yeah. spin, is that spin 37.42? Yeah, I mean, uh, like, it's, like I've kind of said, each club, three to 4,000 is kind of what I would expect out of a, yeah. a four iron. So it's definitely giving me plenty of spin, for sure. Yeah, now we should mention to the loft for the four iron, Yep. 22 and a half degrees. Okay, so, so it's traditional. So, it's kind of, uh, yeah. well, traditional these days at least. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, and you know, lofts have changed. The average loft, or even a player's iron, has changed quite a bit over the last decade or so. Yep. Things are becoming stronger so that players can hit the ball farther. Um, but 22 and a half is about what you'd expect for a kind of a player's, maybe player's cavity. Cavity, iron, right? yeah. Yep. Yeah. I gotta say the the sound. It's I mean I know it's a hollow construction, and most hollow body irons that we've hit have been pretty loud, right? Yep. This does not sound like that. It sounds more like that softer muted player's like blade almost. It's that's the sound of it. Now I haven't felt or mm -hmm. hit it, so I don't know in terms of the feel, but it sounds a lot closer to a player's like blade type rather than like the hollow body player's distance. Yeah, it's hit. it's not clicky like the P790 yeah. would be. Mm -hmm. uh, that's one thing I do to kind of notice. It's it's like it's such an in betweener club, right? With this yeah. club, it's like I like it. I, I could definitely play the the longer irons for sure. Yeah. Believe it or not, I I play 790 driving iron in my bag. Yeah. Still, um, so I could definitely play it. Um, with the shorter irons, it looks a little clunkier for, for me. I like a little more of a blade look, look with the yeah. with the shorter irons, but. The forgiveness you get out of it, even with the shorter irons and longer irons, is great. Yeah. So it's, I mean, this is going to be a one of my favorites for sure for the rest of 2020, I think, when yeah. it comes to fitting. It's going to be really good. Mm -hmm. I like these a lot. It's good. That looks pretty darn pure to me. All right, well that was five with the TaylorMade P774 iron. Uh, that dispersion is impressive. <laughs> it's pretty darn good. You got the one maybe hung out to the left. I think that might have been that the was miss. The first shot I hit, I think, drew a little bit too, a little okay. more with the wind. But otherwise, I mean, the yeah. other four are really clumped close yep. together. They're almost closer together map. than the uh, seven iron, the pitching white. I mean, was. yeah, that's, that's almost <laughs> accurate. Uh, Looking at some of the numbers initially here, I'll kind of give you the track man or the, the data here shortly to get your fair perspective. But you know, club speed 95.2, ball speed 140.4. Your smash was 148, by the way, and that was with uh, kind of a miss in there. Yep. Uh, so carry 220, total 238. These are pretty darn good numbers here, and the height dropped a tad to 86. But again, that was there was a miss. I think that had like 73 or 74 for yep. feet. So it retained the height pretty well. Yeah, so yep. it, it very much did. And so, um, you know, between the look and the feel and the performance, solid, solid performance here for the P770. Yeah, so I had 15 shots there. I don't think I got ever one that was felt like it was a jumper or anything like that. Yeah. That was my, that's my only concern with P790 when you have such a strong aloft club. You get occasionally they get that little, little jumper. I didn't get one that all of a sudden just flew yeah. 10, 15 yards further than anything else. Mm -hmm. So that stood out to me, the spin I say it in driver fittings a lot, the yeah. spin is definitely king with the irons as well because it was spin consistency as well. It yes. was spinning enough to give me stopping power on the green as well. The consistency all across the board really with all these numbers was terrific and that's including a couple of miss hits there where that shows the forgiveness of the clubs as well. So yep. I'll hand this over to you, you can break the, the data down a little bit further. Sounds good. All right, Thomas, TaylorMade P770 irons new in 2020. You've hit the four iron, the seven iron, the pitching wedge. You've got some of your feedback already, but what can, more can you tell us after looking at the data? Yeah, I mean, I touched on it briefly. The dispersion with the four iron really stood yeah. out to me. Minus that first one that I hit a little bit further to the left. The wind really got me on that one. But how tight the circles were. Even with the four iron, with a longer yeah. golf club, you'd expect it to be a little bit wider. Right. I'm hitting into about a 15, <laughs> 18 mile an hour wind out of, out, of the, out of the right here. And I was able to keep that thing under control, which was really good. Yeah. Um, so that stood out to me. Dispersion was great. The carry distance is what I would expect. Exact same carry distances of kind of what I'm seeing with my irons. Minus, I guess it got one degree of loft difference compared to my irons. So that's why they'll go on maybe three or four yards further. Yeah. But otherwise, kind of exactly what I would expect with regards to numbers. 
They were, they were like spot on, which, is, which was really incredible. Um, the spin rate with, with these irons also stands out to me as well. Um, the spin consistency and also the amount of spin that I was able to generate with these irons. Yeah. So that was definitely stood out to me. Yeah, I mean, I think one of the things that we take away is that, you know, it is a hollow body, which is similar to player's distance models, most of them, but it does not play like one or even sound like one or feel like one. I mean, it's it, it's really a player's iron, and I think they're, it, it performs that way. You know, the lofts are structured that way, but it does give you a tad a bit of maybe that distance feel to it with that hollow body shape. But, I mean, the performance, the numbers, everything about it is a player's iron, maybe just a little bit more forgiving than maybe the other, maybe the player's cavity category or a blade as well. Yeah, there was only like one shot where the wind really got my bowl with a, I got it maybe one or two grooves too low, yeah. where it really kind of rose and didn't go quite as far. And that only went about eight yards shorter than yeah. the carry distance and everything else. So that's what really impressed me. Forgiveness is definitely key with these, but also playability, workability. Essentially just a smaller, compact version of the 7, 790 for someone that wants to maybe a little bit more spin. Right, yeah, yeah. and a little bit more workability with that too is going to be had with the P770 irons. So. Uh, and Thomas, this is, like you said, while you're hitting shots, this is going to be one of your favorites the rest of 2020 for fitting because it seems like it's going to fit and appeal to a wide range of players. So uh, golfers in 2020 the rest of the way and into 2021 as well, the TaylorMade P770 irons, kind of a tweener between that player's iron and the player's distance iron, but uh, a great option for the golfers out there, probably in that, I don't know, what would you say, lower to mid handicap range that... Uh, Want a great feeling iron, small, compact shape that's going to perform really well for you. So, Thomas, we've got the feedback from you. Really appreciate that. Yeah, these are going to be incredible for the rest of the year and going forward.